In this video, I want to talk to people who are wearing or faced with wearing full dentures or partial dentures about bone loss. So how do partial dentures and full dentures affect bone loss? They affect them in two ways. Primarily, after the teeth have been extracted, uh, the bone will start to shrink and it gradually shrinks over time. Now, studies have shown it can shrink quite aggressively, even up to 40% in the first year. So one way is when we're wearing a denture or a partial denture is you're basically letting the bone shrink over time. Now, one thing that is in popular knowledge is that when we place an implant and bone, the bone stops shrinking. So as soon as you have your dental implants placed, wherever they're placed, the bone will stop and, de and decease uh, desist shrinking so there'll be no more shrinking from that point on that's one way uh, uh, wearing partial dentures can affect bone loss now the second way that people really don't know about is the way that the dentures and partials work and I'll show you whether it's a, a, a partial denture like this or a denture like this um, basically when you have a, a partial denture that's resting on the tissues or a full denture resting on the tissues that compression from eating and chewing and closing on those dentures and partial dentures will actually cause your bone to resorb or shrink two to three times faster than without any compression or, 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 or pressure on them. So when you're wearing a partial denture or a full denture, not only is the bone shrinking naturally, but as well any areas that's suffering compression where the denture is pushing on or a partial denture is pushing on the tissues, the bone on the, underneath the tissues will actually shrink two to three times more rapidly. So in this video, I did shed some light on how wearing a partial denture and a full denture affects bone loss.